guys welcome back to my channel so um, if you are new my name is Ashley and I make videos about couponing and saving money for your family so this video is going to be a haul video I'm gonna share with you everything that my daughter got for her sixth birthday her name is Scarlett and her birthday party was just this weekend I thought this would be great to share with you guys in case you have anyone in your family or you're gonna be buying some Christmas presents coming up soon for little girls aged three to seven so my other daughter is three Scarlett just turned six, and all of these gifts really appease both of them. So um, I thought it would be great to share with you some ideas on gifts for girls aged three to seven, um, and I'm really excited to share that with you. So this might be a little bit long as I go through it all, so why don't you get some coffee or get a drink and just relax and go through all this stuff with me. So real quick, what we do before birthday parties or before Christmas to get our house ready for having an influx of gifts is we go through all of their toys, we'll put aside some to donate, and then with the rest of them we just organize them and we only give them a few options at a time. So what I'll do is I will get like, this is cars, I'll put all of their cars in a Ziploc bag. This is puzzle pieces, all of their puzzle pieces in a Ziploc bag. Um, this is um, Angry Birds and Nemo put together. So I just put all of the um, toys organized by what, um, by what kind of toy it is. And we put them in these little bins. And we put them up in the kid's closet. So we'll do that ahead of time just so we're working from a, like, basically from scratch. The kids have those toys out of the way so they can focus on their new toys for a while. And then when they're not as excited with the new toys, we'll do the same thing with them. We'll put them away and we'll bring the older toys back out. So rotating those toys really works with our kids and it also helps from having their room be a mess. Right now they can play kitchen, they can play um, lion guard, or they can play paw patrol. Those are the three toys that are out, all the pieces. Of course there's lots of other things to do. We have books and everything and um, painting and coloring and all that stuff but those are the three things that they have out right now when Scarlett gets into all these gifts we'll put those three things away and then they'll have gifts to play with for a while um, and then that's how we do it with toy rotating to make it so that they actually play with all of their toys they can find all the pieces and it doesn't make a huge mess so that's a quick tip for you guys um, but I will get right into the gifts my favorite gift um, as a mother, if you're going to be giving somebody a gift for Christmas or a little girl for a birthday party um, or even a little boy, is pajamas. As a parent, there's never enough pajamas. Kids love having unique pajamas with different characters on them. So Scarlett got two pairs of pajamas. This first one is a nightgown and it has Belle on it. It's just so cute. Obviously, it depends where you live if you would need like warm pajamas or cool pajamas, but we're in Southern California, so it's not necessary to have super warm pajamas ever. I mean, it doesn't really get very cold at all, and heating our home does not take a lot of cost because it's just gas, so... Um, pajamas are a great gift for kids because the parents really appreciate it and the kids really like it. It's something that's needed. Now she mostly got toys in this haul, so we'll go through those too. Um, I'm just going to be going through it as I go through it with you. So I don't know exactly where everything is, but that was one pair of pajamas that she got. She's already worn them two nights in a row because she just loves them. I'm like, I'm never going to get her out of it. Um, this was another super cute item. Disney is super popular with my kids, so this is a little shirt dress, and it has Minnie Mouse. And with six-year-olds, they're kind of like getting out of that wanting to dress like cutesy little toddlers in like matching outfits, and their clothes are getting more like grown-up looking, so um, I thought this just navy striped dress was super cute. Um, all of these are gifts from other people. We only got her one gift, and I'll show you that at the end. And then, let's see. What else can I show you? Clothes. I'm trying to get the clothes out of the way first. Oh, we also got this set of pajamas, which is probably as much um, warm clothes as she's going to need. But she is obsessed with Batman, if you have seen my Instagram. Um, but this is a set of pajamas, Batman. That is a fleece, and then this is a cotton, and then there's a pair of fleece pants with Batman on it. 
So definitely super cute and she loves it. Some more clothes. My daughter only fits leggings. Jeans are really hard for little kids, so I really don't recommend getting jeans, but leggings are a really good choice for kids from three to seven because they just are always, well not always, but a lot of times they're pretty thin and jeans are hard to fit on little kids in my experience. So leggings are a great choice. These are great. I think these are from Target. They're the ones we usually get. Yeah, Cat and Jack, that means it's from Target. And then she got this shirt, which I thought, or this dress, which I thought was so cute. How cute is that? And the brand on that is, let me see, it's called Neat, N-E-A-T. So, so cute. I cut my finger at work yesterday, so that's what that is. Um, and then she also got this one. This is Cat and Jack. She was so excited when she got this. It's so cute. It's like a baseball tee, so the sleeves are different colors. She was really excited about that. More leggings. I want to find the other pajamas to show you. Oh, this. Oh, my gosh. So this is Carter's brand, and I absolutely fell in love with this. It's collared. It's like a denim shirt dress. It's so cute with the little cuffed sleeves. I am super, super excited for her to wear that. It's so cute, and she was super excited to get it. Obviously, the um, the biggest hit was the toys. But she got these My Little Pony pajamas, which she was super excited. Rainbow Dash is her favorite pony. That's Rainbow Dash. That's Pinkie Pie. And that is somebody I have no idea who that is. <laughs> And she got the little pants for it too. Let's get into some toys. So this first toy she got is from the My Little Pony the movie. So this is super popular right now. The movie just came out recently. This pony's Pinkie Pie if you're not um, familiar with what the ponies are. It also says on the bottom of the box what kind of pony it is. But she got this pony playset. She was super, super excited. She loves all the little, um, the little accessories that go with it. So she got that. She also got this little My Little Pony um, just figurine, and it comes with a little hairbrush, and I'm trying to think. This one's from the movie also. So this one has like a painting along the side of the pony. It's like painted onto the pony. She got a couple of these, but for getting so many My Little Pony items, she didn't really get many duplicates, so a lot of her stuff was all different, which is awesome. She was really excited for this, so I highly recommend this, and it's a light-up pony. So this is from the movie as well. This pony is um, Twilight Sparkle. She's purple, and um, you like push the button and they light up. So you can give her high fives. Um, and then the ponies can like interact with each other if you have more than one light-up pony. So this is something she was super, super, super excited about, and she got more than one. She got Twilight Sparkle, and somewhere around here is another Light Up Pony. This is a um, pony playset. So these are very inexpensive at Target. There's pony stuff everywhere, and if you're new to Target, make sure you get the Cartwheel app because... Um, starting in November, they'll have toys that are 50% off. One toy every day will be 50% off, which is awesome. Um, this pony is called Princess Sky Star. And it's a larger pony, but it just comes with a little brush and a little purse. So she definitely got pony, pony crazy over here. And then um, these are called, I don't know what you would call them. I call them blind bags, but they're just little bags. And inside it will be a pony, and you don't know which one you're going to get. My mother got her, like, 20 of these. And what she did is she wrapped them all separately. She hasn't even opened all of them because it took a long time to open them at her party. So she hasn't even opened them all. But we're just going to let her open, like, two every other day, play with them for a while. And then a few days later, she can open two more. She's not going to get into all these gifts at the same time because we really want her to appreciate all of them. So she'll just play with one gift for a while and then play with another one a few days later. So these little ponies, you don't know which one you're going to get. Sometimes you get duplicates, but they have different series. This one is the 
Friendship Magic Collection. So they have little, um, I think like Halloween themed ones. And the ponies look like this when you actually get them. So you don't know which one you're going to get. That one's so cute. They all have their own names. This one's like dirty. This one's Rainbow Dash. So she just loves these little figurines. She has a bunch of ponies. What we got her is we got her a set of 12 of these ponies. It was originally like $20 at Target, but we got it on clearance for about $5.50. So I've been saving that. We got that back in June. So that's what we gave her. So these ponies are just really great because they're all unique and different. And my daughter has a little collection box for them. I think we're going to get her makeup case um, to put all of her ponies in. But these little surprise bags are so popular with every child I know that Scarlett's age, so between three and seven. Um, I just asked for people to get her a little surprise bag. We didn't need a big gift. People were asking me what they should get for her, and I'm like, she really doesn't need anything. But they wanted to get her a gift, so I said, get her a surprise bag. Everyone ended up getting her multiple ones, so literally she has probably like 40 or 50 of these bags right now. So we're definitely going to go through them slowly so she can appreciate each one. But these bags are a big hit. So going off of My Little Pony, my daughter's second like super favorite thing right now is Hatchimals and it's not the big Hatchimal that you're thinking of um, that's what I thought of when I thought of Hatchimals is that big expensive egg toy but they have the little figurines it looks like this it's a little egg and you um, rub the egg or the heart until it turns pink that's what they're supposed to do to show it some love and then you press it on the heart and the egg will crack open and there's a little figurine inside so that's an example of a figurine this comes with one figurine and four eggs. You can also buy the eggs just in a single pack or a double pack. But let me show you what one of these little guys looks like. They're so cute. So this one is a little, a little elephant. And they have little wings, glittery wings, and a little tail. So this guy is so cute. Um, let me see. She has this little, this little parrot thing. Um, she has this little zebra. So these are just ones she already had. And then um, you can keep the you can keep the bottom of the egg and it's like their little nest. This one's so cute. It's like a little bunny. And they all have little wings. And then they just like sit in their little nest. So these are the little Hatchimal collectibles. Um, if you hear someone talk about that, this is what they're talking about. So the good thing about these toys is they're all pretty small. So she got a couple of those. She got this one. This one is another five pack. Um, this one is just a two pack. We already let her open one, but it comes with a little, um, a little nest. So you can put the bottom of the egg in the nest and hold them in. But this is just a two pack. So there's little bags that have just a single and then there's the two packs and so forth. So those are really popular also. And then this was something new that I didn't know what it was. I don't know if I have an example, but these are the super squishy My Little Pony fashions. They come in this little container and they're kind of an awkward consistency. She got two of them. But they're like a pony, a little bit larger than the ones I showed you. I don't have any with me, but they're kind of a, like you can squish them. They're not sticky. They're just kind of a soft material, um, kind of rubbery. And these ones have a mermaid tail, which are pretty cool. The kids like that. So um, that is those. Oh, no, she got another one. She got three of those. So those are super popular. These are great stocking stuffers. And there's little bags like this for everything. There's little bags. This is another collectible one. It's My Little Pony, but it's a different series. So there's so many series, and the kids just try to collect all of them. They have them for, like, Finding Nemo, and um, they have them for even the Disney Tsum Tsums. They have them for um, Sophia and Doc McStuffins, and just these mystery bags are a super big hit. So if you're looking for a fun gift um, for a stocking stuffer or just a small gift, a few mystery bags is better, I think, for kids these age right now than a big toy like this. Just getting like four mystery bags, it's more exciting for them because they like opening them. 
especially with my children. Both of them are the same in that sense. Um, like literally, we're like drowning in these pony bags. They're just everywhere. Um, my daughter's also really like trolls, so she got this little art kit, which is nice. It has uh, markers right here, and then inside are just all these things for them to color on. So that was really cool. She got some new coloring books. She's very into coloring and staying inside the lines and doing activities like that. So of course she got My Little Pony coloring books and some more crayons. So art supplies are really a good gift because kids this age are really creative. She got another My Little Pony coloring book. So another thing I recommend, I mean my daughter's all obsessed with My Little Pony, is if people are asking you what to get your kids for their birthday or for Christmas or something, give people different answers because I told everyone My Little Pony. So she got like My Little Pony wasted, which is fine. She was loving it. She just was so excited every time. She's like, another pony. She just loved it. But if, if your kid has varying interests, make sure you like tell each person a different thing so you get different items. Um, but let me just go in here. Here's another pony. This one has that um, painting on it, like I said before. So that's another one. This one's Pinkie Pie. This one is the same, and it is Rainbow Dash, and it has like the painting on it, and it comes with a little brush for the hair. Some leggings. Oh, this was super cute. The sweater for like the holidays. Pretty sure this is from Target. Yeah, it's the Cat and Jack brand. So that is another super cute sweater she got. Um, let me move these over because literally these are two bags full of little tiny ponies. And her big gifts that she got, this was from um, her aunt. And this is a spirit set. So sorry for the glare. But Spirit is a show or movie on Netflix. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's about a horse. This is Spirit, and this is the main character in the show. And then these are the supporting characters and two ponies that come with it. So this set is from Target, and she was so excited to get this. Um, that was definitely a big gift. There's not a lot of um, options for Spirit, but that was something she really liked. This is another one of those light up ponies and this one's in Rainbow Dash, her favorite. So it's so funny how she got like different ponies for each thing. She got no double gifts, which was awesome. Um, this is a Shopkins little girl. Shopkins are another thing that's really popular. They're these little creatures with the eyes and they come in the little um, boxes and it's a surprise box, just like the little pony bags. And Scarlett is obsessed with those also. She has a huge collection. Um, lastly, this is from the movie also. This was her favorite favorite. These are little mermaids, so it looks like a mermaid tail, but when you clip this up, let me see if I can do it. You clip it up around their waist, and then it exposes their legs, and instead of a mermaid tail, you can see their legs and their tail, and then this becomes a little skirt. So you pull this down, and it's a mermaid tail and you pull it up and you clip it up here and it's like little pony legs and a ponytail. So it goes from mermaid to pony and it's like a transforming pony. So she got two of these. She got Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash and she was so excited for that. Um, and then there was one more thing that was different if I can find it real quick. And I don't know, it's called Shimmer and Shine. It's another TV show that is popular with little kids right now. I see clothes for it. It's like they're genies and there's a pink haired one and a blue haired one. I don't know if I can find it, but it's a little bottle and has a mystery genie inside. So you don't know what genie you're going to get. So that was the last thing that she got that was like super Super exciting for her. She literally screamed when she got a Shimmer and Shine toy. So definitely check out if the little girl in your life likes Shimmer and Shine. I'll quickly show you these last um, clothing items. This is from Carter's. So, so cute. It's a little collared button-up dress. I think dresses are great for gifts because they don't have to fit perfectly. Um, like if you got pants and a shirt, like dresses can be a little bit big or small. This one, just this color, just the light denim is so cute it's another like shirt dress 
with a little pocket. And both of those, that was Carter's brand, and this one is Sonoma brand. This one's from Kohl's. This one is super cute too. This is Carter's brand. And it's that light denim color that's super popular right now, and it's striped. So cute, just like a knee length dress. And then this one is like a sweater. It's Carter's as well. A pink sweater, and it has that at the bottom. I mean, seriously, like preppy look is so cute for little kids. And she got this little shirt, this is Carter's as well. And the last one is a, what is this? This is a dress also. It has little birds on it. My daughter just loves the dresses that kind of twirl when you, when you move in them. And then she got these sparkly, sparkly pink shoes. So that is her birthday haul. All we got for her was a set of, um, I think it's like 12 ponies. And we got her a pony coloring book from the Dollar Tree and a little pack of pony tissues from the Dollar Tree. So that was her gift. We kept it super simple because she was having a large party. What we would do with our kids is if they're having a birthday party, they get a small gift. So they can choose to either have a big party, a big gift, or a big activity. Last year we went to Disneyland. So um, that's how we kind of do their birthdays. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some fun ideas for little girls in your life for birthday gift ideas or for Christmas ideas. If you have any questions regarding what little kids like, I mean, I have a three-year-old and six-year-old, so I'm pretty fluent in little girl. So let me know if you have anyone in your life that you're looking to buy gifts for, if you have any questions or want any more recommendations, just comment below. Um, and I'll be happy to help you get the perfect gift for the little girl in your life. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I'll see you guys next time with a money saving video. Bye guys.